What up, nerds and turds, geeks and freaks, nerdy yellow dude checking in, and we here for our first, the first of many nerdy yellow reviews. And today we're gonna talk about Snoop Dogg new movie, The Underdogs. Now the movie is directed by Charles Stone III. Um, most known films, Drumline with Nick Cannon. And you know the, the hood classic paid in full. Now I ain't gonna lie. When I first seen the previews of this movie, I'm like, oh <laughs> Snoop about to drop some little janky ass movie. Uh, but I'm still gonna watch it, you know, because I rush with the dogs, and you know, you know, I'm rocks with Snoop Dogg, so I'm like, you know, I'm still gonna rock it, you know what I'm saying? Because I rock with the dog, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna I'm support Snoop, you know what I'm saying? I ate Snoop Loops, I ate some Snoop Loops, and they weren't even that bad. I ain't even gonna lie, I ate some Snoop Loops, they weren't even that bad. I might post my Snoop Loop video on this page, <laughs> but no, I ain't like, I was really surprised, like. I thought the movie was gonna be some old cheap bootleg looking type shit. I ain't even gonna lie. I thought this was gonna be old cheap fishy film, but it surprised me a whole lot. I mean, from the acting, Snoop Dogg. First, let's get on Snoop's. This I think this is one of Snoop Dogg's best acting jobs. I think this is one of his best acting jobs so far. I mean, even though it was just like he really just being Snoop Dogg, but he he did his thing. He did his thing all the way with this shit. I thought it was gonna be a little ching, like a little cringy type, but no, nah, Snoop came with it all through the movie. You know what I'm saying? From when he tried in the um the roles where he needed to be more serious, he did his thing. And when he just needed to be Snoop Dogg, you know, he did his thing. So the, the movie is based on um, a former NFL wide receiver, Jason Jennings, a.k.a. 2Js, <laughs> played by Snoop Dogg, an ex-high school star, an ex-college star wide receiver, they end up making it to the NFL, but his NFL career really wasn't the best because he was very ignorant. He was, he was just a, a very ignorant human being, you know, very cocky, um, selfish, very selfish player. So he ended up getting into a car accident, ended up getting hit by a bus, but it was his accident. It was his fault. So instead of sending him to jail, the judge somebody that he grew up with sent to him to the community service. So she made him go do community service in his old neighborhood. So once he get back to the hood, he end up running to his old childhood friend played by Mike Epps. Now, when he first got there, his community service was just walking around, you know, cleaning the park, picking up trash. So once he started doing this community service, he ended up running to his high school sweetheart, played by Tika Stumpert. And her son is a part of a youth football team that don't have no coach. They coaches keep walking out on them. Little misfits, the underdogs, they little misfits. So the coach keep walking out on them. So if he decide like he could just go take over and be the coach, you know where the story going. It's like a little giants, mighty ducks. <laughs> It's one of them type movies. Um, it gets starring Mike Epps. Mike Epps is in there. Um, Tika Stumper is in there. Um, my boy George Lopez, Candy. It, it, the cast, uh, the cast was nice. Like I say, everybody, all the actors did their thing. The cast was nice from the kids. The kids did their thing. Like it's well before when the movie start on is a um, disclaimer at the beginning of the movie to let you know. What's about to, it's gonna be a lot of cussing and shit going on in this movie. So it lets you know at the beginning that it's gonna be a whole lot of foul, whole lot of foul talking in this movie. You know what I'm saying? Like it's fuck kids, cause the kids 
coming from a person that films youth sports and stuff for a living, this is it. This is a hundred percent. This is how they talk. This is how these little <laughs> I, hey, listen, I was about to listen. I call them little fuckers, but we're gonna take that out. But yeah, I'll call them. They, they'll tell you, hey, man, you gonna stop calling me a little fucker. Yeah, I call them little fuckers. This is how they act. This is spot on, like spot on. And we'll make it so dope if you know the story of Snoop. Like, this is basically damn near almost a true story. You know, besides certain things, it's damn near a true story. You know, you. The Snoop Youth Football League been doing it for years, been holding it down for years. Snoop didn't put plenty of um, a kids through college, most of them in the NFL. And it's crazy because you see them and they still run up on them, call them um, Coach Snoop, just like Master P. Master P put a lot of a lot of people through uh, college and um, and in the, in the, I mean the NBA when it came to the basketball, you know. He was really around on the basketball stuff, but um, it, it's it's a great movie. Like I say, it was better than I expected. I thought it was gonna be like I say, like oh, bootleg. But it it, it was a great movie. The storyline and how he can end up connecting with the kids and it and the diversity you know got the girl on the team and <laughs> hey listen it's it's a good movie man a must see movie just because it's better than i expected it to be i'm giving it five stars just because it's much better than i expected it to be and i was laughing from the beginning to the end of the movie non-stop laughing for me so that's why i'm giving it five stars it had me laughing from the beginning to the end. From like really from the beginning to the end, I was laughing nonstop. And I didn't expect it. I thought most of this, and it was like real <laughs> genuine <laughs> busting out laughing. It ain't like the man, it ain't like the uh this shit's so stupid. It's funny. It was really funny. Really funny, man. So shout out to everybody that did their thing in the movie. All the writers, the directors, the actors, Snoop Dogg. And tell you the truth, I love to see a part two because there's plenty of things they can do with the part two. You know, they can take it on the road. They can take it show on the road. They ain't hit the they ain't hit the circuit yet. They was just playing in the in Lone Beast. They ain't even hit the circuit. So hey, that part two pitch right there, Snoop, man. Take the show on the road. But yeah, great movie, great acting, man. Make sure y'all go check that out. Nerdy yellow dude checking out.